Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the exceptions in Java 8 Lambda expressions. So basically here, uh, we are going to discuss about the exception handling uh, when we write the Lambda expression in Java 8. So in Java 8, Lambda expression is started to facilitate functional programming by providing a concise way to express behavior. However, the functional interfaces provided by the JDK uh, do not deal with the exception very well and the code becomes verbose and uh, cumbersome when it comes to exception handling. In this video series, we will explore some ways to deal with the exception when writing lambda expressions. So most of the functional interface have been defined in java.util.function and if you go to the any functional interface like we have a consumer uh, one of the uh, functional interface and this interface contains a method abstract method is called xfc this method does not throw any exception right if we look into the by consumer by consumer has also a single abstract method is called except and this is not also throwing any exception if you take example of any functional interface in this package like we have a function and if you look into this uh, abstract method this uh, this method also does not throw any kind of exception right so that's the reason i i told you so uh, i mean functional interfaces provided by the jdk uh, do not deal with the exception very well so here we'll we'll discuss how we can handle exception while using the lambda expression so first of all in this video series we are going to discuss about the handling unchecked exception so let's uh, understand the problem with an example so here i'm going to create a project and i would give the project name handling and checked exception in lambda now close my previous project so I have created project now here I'm going to create a class uh, it's package com dot info take and class name I'm going to specify client test which will have a main method Now, suppose we have a list of integer that we want to divide by a constant set 50 and with every elements of this list and I want to print the results. So let's we have a list of integer say integers equal to we have a class is called arrays and we have a utility method is called as list and we are going to initialize as list with few elements like 3 9 7 6 10 and 20 let me do the organize import control shift o and we have imported this now we have a list of integers and let's make a use of for each loop and for we know that for each loop always accepts object of consumer and here i'm going to write a lambda expression I 
and this is lambda sine I'm going to print 50 divided by i so make sense now I'm going to run this program and here we got the output right so when you divide I mean 50 divided by 3 then we got the uh, 16 when divide by 9 then 5 and, on, and so on this expression works fine but there there is a problem if any of the elements in this list is 0 so or there is a uh, I mean uh, there is a certain elements but we haven't any of them is 0 right so dividing some number by some integer value that's fine but any of the number is 0 uh, in this list then we will get arithmetic expression divided by 0 right so let's fix that by using traditional try catch block such that we log any such exceptions and continue execution for the next elements so here I'm going to wrap this code inside I mean this line of code uh, inside try catch right so here you can select this line right click over here and you have an option like surround with and try catch right so here and here you can say arithmetic exception and here you can print arithmetic exception account and you can print the message you don't get message Sorry, this should happen inside the lambda itself. So we have a lambda over here and this try catch we will put inside the lambda itself. So arrow and here after arrow and this will have to wrap inside the try catch. Fifty divided by i. Okay, so we have wrap lambda expression within the try catch. And now, if I run it, but I'm going to make a element zero in this list. Now, if I run it, and look at here. So for one of the elements, we got the arithmetic expression divided by 0 for but for the rest of the elements processing happened successfully so the use of try catch solves the problem but the conciseness of the lambda expression is lost and it is no longer a small function as it was supposed to be right so there are a lot of nested ugly code try catch code you can see over here so to deal with this problem uh, we can write lambda wrapper for the lambda function let's look at the code to see how it works so here what i will do so i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to uh, remove the conciseness of the lambda expression so earlier we were written the lambda expression like this right so let's keep like this only and one of the elements we are zero so that intentionally we are trying to uh, try to 
simulate uh, uh, arithmetic expression divided by 0. Now instead of handling, I mean exception within the lambda expressions, we are going to create a separate method like private static consumer which will take integer and I will say lambda wrapper and this will take consumer as argument as an argument. And here I'm going to write code like return I lambda expression sign and within this we can write a try catch. And here we can write arithmetic expression and we'll print a message arithmetic expression occurred and you can print the message as well. And here within the try, you can have a consumer. Sorry, this argument will have to use consumer dot. We have a accept method in consumer, and I will have to pass it over here. Now, here, what I'll do here, uh, this lambda you can wrap within this lambda itself so what i will do so we'll wrap this lambda within this lambda. so so wrapper lambda problem let's save it now we can write i uh, sorry this entire lambda should be wrapped inside this and here you need to close the bracket so our lambda we have wrapped inside this lambda Sorry, there is one more. Now, what the problem? So we have an integer dot for each. Then we have to call our lambda uh, wrapper inside that i. Then lambda expression sign, and we are trying to divide fifty by i, and we have a close parenthesis okay, still this guy is throwing error saying that why so
and now this guys create a make 